hello, hello, my brothers, and hello, my sisters. Um, I um, I have a brief, a brief insight, world insight, a uh, brief um, word that I want you to 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 pay attention to, to notice, to observe, and um, when it comes to when it comes to um, spiritual warfare, and the title of this this message is thought provoking, thought provoking. And now, uh, if if you notice, and one of the things that I've noticed, if you notice that anytime there's something that you got to do, or there's a deadline, or you're close to a deadline, or if you pass that deadline, or there's something that you want that you can't get, uh, oftentimes, oftentimes what happens, um, what happens, you become antsy, you become ner nervous, and also, uh, and the nervousness uh, begins to speak to you and make you do certain things. Say for example, um, you're supposed to someone's supposed to call you at a certain time, but they didn't call. They didn't call, and so now your mind is wondering on what happened, what's going on, and what's taking place. And oftentimes, and sometimes, your mind will fill in the blank, and then what your mind will tell you will cause you to react or to respond in some kind of way. Bear in mind, what your mind and what your thoughts are telling you may not be true at all, but because your mind is saying it and no one is there else to 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 rationalize on truth then oftentimes you entertain it you're going to begin to follow up and follow through with what your thoughts are saying that comes also with hurt because hurt is when you've been rejected things hadn't been your way uh, somebody betrays you somebody hurt you and so now that you're hurt or now that you're going through a certain thing uh now your thoughts are being have been provoked uh, on what happened before on what, what, what took place before. And anytime you're in a situation that's similar to what took place before that hurt you, your thoughts will begin to speak to you and tell you stuff that's not true. And so those are some of the words that I wanted to say to you. And one of the things that the enemy does is, um, and so um, what what's happening and what the enemy is doing now uh, to you, the believers, and to many people who are in limbo, and what's happening now that you're in limbo, your thoughts are running wild with you. Your thoughts are, are filling information. Your thoughts are filling the blank. And, and, and see what the enemy wants you to do. The enemy, the thoughts are there that the enemy speak to you because he's the accuser of the brother. He wants you to react to those thoughts. Your enemy wants you to react to those thoughts without, without even uh, uh, finding or uh, uh, or finding the truth or without uh waiting see god wants you to wait see but the enemy wants you to rush that's what it comes down to the enemy when you get something wants you to rush right then do it right then as opposed to just sitting and waiting sitting and waiting sitting and waiting and and so and the enemy wants to provoke you and, and one of the things that he does is he wants you to speak out what's in your mind he wants you to speak out what's in your heart as long as in your mind and your heart you're okay but the moment you speak it that's when uh warfare that's when troubles that's when um uh, you'll be judged the scripture says that it's not what goes in the mouth that defiles a man but what comes out of that man that defiles him out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and so through hurt and and see oftentimes the hurt and the bitters and all that, which has not been dealt with, which has not been, you've not been healed from. And because you hadn't been healed from it, that soft, those soft spots, those soft places, they, they're too tender, they're hurt. And, and so they're going to always speak. They're going to always speak. They're going to always talk, telling you stuff that's not true from your past. And so, but what God wants you to do, God wants you to resist those thoughts. When you have thoughts that are negative, when you have thoughts that are trying to tear you down or make you nervous, make you angry, God wants you to resist it. Deny it because it's not God. See, the enemy, he's the accuser. He also will gas up when you're angry. So those are my words. God bless you.